This is the most explosive new offense in Madden 23. Break yourself, fool! You got more It has explosive run plays. Run. Hard to stop pass plays. And one play touchdowns versus every single defense in the game. So if you want to see what offense I'm using to get results like this, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese. Always got another practice mode style breakdown of one of my favorite offenses in the game right now, the Pittsburgh Steelers. I didn't plan on putting out an ebook this late into the season of a new offense, but I've been using this offense for like a month, so I really wanted to make one, which includes me making a lot of practice mode videos uh, for people to basically come to and you know learn how to run this offense. It's something that I figure I'm going to do in the future. I try to make gameplay videos now. But I know that there's a lot of people that still want to know a little bit more in depth how I'm setting up my plays and how I'm running my plays. So I'm always going to put out at least one practice mode version of week so that I can link those uh, gameplays to this particular practice mode style offense video so you can learn how to run these offenses or vice versa. If you're watching this and you want to see it in gameplay, we'll have gameplay links in the description. To me, that's the best way to do it. Other than that, let's go and let's get right into it. The gun trio is the offense I'm going to go over today. I put out at least two gameplays of me whooping people up with this offense. I love this offense. I also recently put out a full breakdown of the gun wings or the single back wing stack which is one of my favorite links in the description as well the only real adjustment i'm gonna make in the gun trio is i want to make sure i have my fastest receiver here at this spot because that's where all the one play touchdowns are going to come from so i'll start off with some run plays because there's really only two that i like to use but i'll probably show you guys three the first one is very simply the inside zone i'm not going to spend a lot of time on this i'll go ahead and i'll show you guys in random two four all this really is is, you know, if you have a man coverage like this, you can see the linebacker or whoever is split out wide from his normal spot in the middle there, which just creates a nice open lane for me to run through right here up the gut. So if you have that type of look, it's a very easy read. If it's his own coverage and he stays in the hole like he does here, I could always just take that outside, but you can see it still gets to the second level. I mean, it's a very consistent run. Inside zones are typically the most consistent run plays when it comes to shotgun formations, so I really don't think this takes a lot. Although this here, this looks like it could be a man coverage. I might benefit from just motioning this guy across and taking him out of the play. It's really hard to say, but you can see now I just took a defender away with him. So reading the defense is also very important when it comes to running the ball, just like it does when it comes to passing the ball. But that's a very simple play. I'm not going to go over that too much. Not a lot of adjustments to make there. The next best run play is definitely the counter. There's not a lot of counter plays when it comes to um, you know shotgun runs. They're always very successful when you find them, but it's typically very rare to find shotgun plays. So we'll go and pick that again. Uh, but this is this is it. I mean, you can see how you know everybody's on the left side because that's where the wide receivers are. So switching over to a counter run can be very advantageous. Is that? Particularly defender bust right in and just like took off. I don't know what happened there. Didn't get a great run anyway, but like I said, this is definitely one of the better runs that you can switch to so that your opponent can't overcommit to the strong side, which is typically what people do when they see shotguns because they, they kind of expect it to always be an inside zone or a draw or maybe even a no one trap is a little bit more common. Now, I usually like to start off with the dink and dunk plays. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start off with my first play, which is going to be the PA deep cross. This is going to be a one play touchdown against a lot of defenses too. Too, but it's a very good uh, dink and dunk place. So this setup here can work against any man or zone. You're just gonna streak the A route, motion across the X route, put them on slant, and then put the Y route on a drag. Now the X route gets open at about 15 yards, the crosser gets open at about 20 to 25, and the drag gets open at five. So no matter what you set your zone drops to, or if you're running man coverage, it really won't matter, as all of these routes are really going to get open at different depths, making it pretty impossible to stop. If somebody follows this guy across, you know it's a man coverage, so motion snap them, and you'll get a little bit more of a you know quicker release. As you can see here, it helps him beat that that man coverage. So that's something you can always do too. But the the motion across will help you uh, read the defense. As you can see, you know if a guy follows like he is here, it's typically going to be a man coverage. Block the running back as well. And this play here, like I said, you have three routes that really beat just about any defense, just as long as you get a little bit more pass pro or a little bit better quarterback throwing the ball. Now it also has a very good cover zero concept, so we'll hit the Overstone Brave up. 
Now, this here, I find is a very good cover zero concept, which is basically just putting the X route on a smart route and motioning them across. I'll go ahead and block the running back too, just give myself a little bit more time. But you can see how he does bite on that inside move, and that's a superstar cornerback who gets beat by a rookie, a decent rookie in Pickens, but still. So, very good man zero concept. You could also put this guy here on a smart route and shorten that, but for whatever reason, he typically bites on the inside and gets outside space. Also has success against cover zero. The best way to do this setup to me is just putting the B route on a fade. And you'll see how a lot of times he'll really get in the way and leave the Y route just wide open as he kind of glitches out the coverage. Uh, you can motion across that uh, that you know other receiver like I was talking about. But let's go and let's take a look at what happened on the replay here. Running this to the short side of the field like this, I think, is one of the main reasons this happens. As you can see, these guys just kind of, you know, he sets a pick for them. The best play, though, without a doubt, is going to be the Steeler dig. Stop messing around. We're going to start off with cover two and then work our way back. This play here, real simple. All you got to do, put, the, put the, uh, the B route here on a fade. That's all you have to do. I'll block my running back, and you'll see how this Y route, I mean, number one, he just runs right up the middle there, and he's gone um, within like a few seconds. He doesn't even get zone chucked. So against cover two, Tampa two, it's going to be very easy to do. Uh, against Tampa 2, you could also motion him across and use the exact same trick that I showed earlier. If you do this, you're probably going to want um, you know, to put the B route on a streak just to pull safeties back as much as possible. But you can see how this Y route here can get open outside of that, even though we did get jammed a little more. And it's still not a one-play touchdown like the previous setup. Works against cover 2 man even better. So against cover two men, same setup. Just fade the B route, block the running back if you like, and then buy a little bit of time. And you can see this guy's going to go right up the middle, splitting those safeties. X-Factor can't light up if he's that far away. Against cover three, it's very different. So we're going to pick that. So same setup when it comes to cover three, just this time you have to run it from a hash mark to the open side of the field, or the short side of the field, rather. Block your running back, put the B route on a fade. And you're really just going to have to wait for the Y route to get open as you can see right there, was almost impossible, but he did get open for an easy one-play touchdown as I thought I was sacked. I don't know, Kenny Pickett finally made a play. Plays really best against cover fours, though, as we'll pick cover four quarters next. Against cover four, runs from a hash mark to the short side of the field, put the B route on a fade, and block your running back. And you'll notice how the B route here really just gets wide open once the safety reacts to the, uh, the crossing route because he's really in conflict with the two different defenders. So we'll go ahead and we'll go to the replay to show what happened there. But he's basically responsible for these two receivers. And the second that the corner route comes in his area first, he basically takes him out of the play and he's hit the bullet and pass lead in the opposite direction. Last up, we have regular cover four, which beats it in a completely different way. Hopefully they have that in this particular playbook because I did not check before I came in here. So yeah, cover four drop. So I'm going to put the A or the B route on a fade one more time. Motion out Friar Muth here and put him on a comeback route for the first time all video, but other than that, everything else works the exact same, as I really just have to wait for this lack of pass rush to take effect, because you can see how this guy's gonna cross the strong safety eventually and be a one-play touchdown. Like I said, it takes a little bit of time, but cover fours are the slowest pass rush because they only have three pass rush defenders. And you can see that once this guy gets off the jam and gets inside of this safety, this is when you can bullet and pass lead and get a very easy one-play touchdown. I still have two more dink and dunk plays, uh, including the verticals, which is really similar to the play I showed earlier when it comes to the PA deep cross, but it has one more play to it, one more route to it. So we'll pick random because I really want to highlight the RB route, which is the running back, who's really the read. I mean, I could throw it to the, the deep crossing route the same way I did in the previous play, but uh, this is really all about throwing to the running back. This is one of the better uh, routes, the route that the running back is running. Although, like I said, the B route here is a very good play as well. If it's a blitz, it'll be wide open. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see more practice mode videos like this, like I said, I'm going to try to pull out at least one a week to mirror my gameplays. Uh, so if you want to see that, hit the like button in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching. Memory shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.